fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I've been testing four different TF40 rackets, the 1619305, already reviewed on my channel, and now also the 1820 versions, 305, 315, and the 1619315 gram version. Four different TF40 rackets, are, is, do we need that? I don't know, uh, but uh, rackets are in abundance these days, so there's definitely a possibility to find the racket for you among all these rackets. And my favorite of the bunch, let's get started with that one, is the 305-1820 version. I feel more connected to that one. It has the highest swing weight, the, maybe the more demanding specs of all of these rackets, but for more advanced players, I think 1820 pattern for more control on flatter shots and uh, precision generally, and um, the, the little bit beefier swing weight, which will, will have more plow through, will be easier to really hit through the, the, the shot and um, has really worked well for me. I'm coming from that kind of racket with 98 square inches, 1820, used the Prestige MP 2019 as my main racket, but actually considering this one as a, a good rival and a possible switch. So this is how good this frame is. And it's as good as the previous version of the TF40, which I also reviewed uh, very highly. And I really think that Technifiber has improved their rackets massively over these last couple of years. I think they are much better now. TF, T Fight, TF40, great lines. Uh, also the Iga I, I actually enjoyed. So uh, I'm happy to see that they moved in the right direction. I think their, their design is much improved since Lacoste acquired the company. So um, yeah, pretty positive overall. Not a huge difference. Like this is what we're seeing with the racket brands now that comparing the previous generation to the current generations, there are slight improvements. When they've hit, hit struck gold or they've really developed a model that people seem to like, they're not taking big chances. They're not trying to rework that, which I completely understand why change something that ain't broken. So that's the strategy for most manufacturers. I think Yonex, they're trying to switch up a little bit more, uh, sometimes to their own detriment, but at least that's a little bit more of a gutsy approach. This one uh, was such a good frame, such a popular seller, so I completely understand that Technifarbit didn't want to tweak too much because then the customers will be annoyed. So as a, as a previous TF40 305 and 20 user, I really appreciate that this is not much different. Uh, it's a little bit more muted, I would say, overall, uh, maybe a tiny bit stiffer, uh, so probably they increase the stiffness a little bit, and then obviously also um, maybe dampen that a little bit. I don't know, it's, uh, it's not that easy to say. I think it's the similar difference to what uh, Head did with their Prestige. What's new uh, is that they have uh, re-engineered the beam a bit. Uh, this is now the RS Sharp beam design. Makes it feel a bit faster to me. I actually felt like I could swing this a little bit faster than the previous ver version, which is something I really appreciated because at times I felt the previous TF40, especially with specs that were above 330 strong swing weights, uh, it was a bit clunky through the air. So um, this one feels that it's a little bit faster, even the 333 swing weight strong of my racket here, uh, my test racket from Tennis Warehouse Europe, uh, was pretty maneuverable. Uh, it's my favorite Technifiber racket, I think, and, um, and just a, a very nice frame giving you control, good feel, some power thanks to the swing weight, it's demanding, but if you're into these kind of frames, you need to try the, the TF40 305. And not much of, an, of a change from the previous version, but um, just a bit of a refinement, a little bit faster feeling. Uh, and that's probably all it needed. Uh, the 315 1820 uh, is weirdly enough uh, lighter to swing. The swing weights are quite different with these two rackets. Uh, it, it's, um, it's odd and counterintuitive that heavier rackets are lighter to swing, but swing weight is the most important factor and something that I get annoyed and frustrated all, over and over again that the manufacturers don't list. Because I think if there's anything in quality control that they need to think about, it's the swing weight. Because that's the one, how it feels to swing, it's what's gonna affect you when you're playing tennis. So if you can get rackets that are close in swing weight, even if the weight and balance are a bit off, I think uh, you're on to something. So I would appreciate if they, they change the focus a bit. And now, I mean, unless you're looking at Tennis Warehouse, uh, who actually check the swing weight and the average swing weight, which I think is great, uh, you're not gonna find it out unless you have a machine that I have, like a three-in-one machine from Head that can actually measure swing weight uh, or some other machine. Uh, it's gonna be a bit tricky and, and it's a key metric for uh, more ad ambitious tennis players and something I think we, we should uh, be a bit more uh, on top uh, overall as an industry. 
315, easier to swing, lower swing weight, not as stable, uh, not the same plow through. Obviously I can customize. The issue is that when you have a higher static weight, like this is 305, very heavy swing weight, so a lot of weight in the head, but it's still more maneuverable thanks to the static weight not being so high. So the static weight makes a difference as well, even if the swing weight is higher, lower, etc. So everything kind of comes into play, although I think the swing weight is the most important factor. I think that the static weight balance will also obviously um, affect your, your tennis. So I felt like the 315 had a, more weight overall, but still not the stability. So I would need to add some lead tape up in the hoop to get that similar stability and plow through from the 315, 1820. Uh, still a good racket. I preferred it from the 1619. I personally like a little bit more precision and control from my frames. I like to flatten out the ball from time to time and really go for, for you know, small margins. Not always the best strategy to, to win tennis matches, but that's how I play. And uh, yeah, I felt like I, I, the 1820 versions spoke more to me, while some players might like a little bit more lift uh, and be a, you know slightly more worried that they clip the net or a bit more spin potential. And then the 1619 is, is a good option. But the 315 gram versions are lighter to swing, lower swing weights, easier to use. Uh, but I do miss some stability sometimes in the hoop for that kind of more controlled frame that it is. These rackets are definitely for advanced players, not for you who, who want help with power. They don't give you pretty much anything for free. You need to generate power and spin yourself, no matter what weight and string pattern you um, go for. If you can generate your own power, if you have good technique and you have a pretty decent level of tennis, uh, I think these frames will give you good feeling, nice stability and feedback. Uh, just excellent frames, some of the best control frames on the market. The 305, 8 and 20 is my favorite. Small update, uh, but still a, a good update. And this is what most manufacturers seem to be going for these days. So thumbs up for me. Uh, I th felt like the RS Sharpie made them a little bit faster. But overall, the, the, the sensation and, and everything was, was just a minor update from the previous generation. That's all for this Technifiber TF40 update. Hope you enjoyed it. Please support me on patreon.com slash tennis nerd where you get loads of content. Check out my affiliates such as Play Your Court, for example, a new affiliate of mine. Find your coach, find your hitting partner. When we play tennis, we need more hitting partners, right? So that's a great service from Play Your Court. You get 50% off with my link. So check it out in the descriptions below. Also check out my other affiliates like Tennis Warehouse, Swing Vision, Top Court, and so on. That's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.